Welcome to today's 3D print. Today we are going to talk about tools and the cool things you can make with your 3D printer. So first up today is by IOMAA, thing number 2676324 on Thingiverse. We have measuring cube. This thing is wicked. Uh, this is printed with um, oh, who makes this? I just had the name. It's called Purple Haze. I think it's 3D Racks. I'll have a link down below. This plastic, it has a bit of a an oozing issue, this plastic, where sometimes you get these little blobs from oozing, but the color is stunning. It's truly a beautiful plastic. I really like this. And then this is a plastic that Gearbest sent me. It is carbon fiber fill PLA. And it's only like $40, $45 a kilogram, which is really cheap for carbon fiber. Um, if you're ordering your printer, you might as well toss in a roll. It's really nice. I have two rolls of it. And I actually bought a second roll because I like it so much. <laughs> um, it makes nice prints. You'll be seeing a whole bunch of prints from me with this plastic. But the cool thing is, each side of the cube, except for the bottom, which is where it prints on, um, and this is watertight. I use three perimeters, three top, three bottom, and 25% infill grid. And this is watertight, um, although be careful measuring liquids with it because while PLA is food grade, the nature of the printing process that we use is not food grade because you're creating layers, which means you have layer lines. And those layer lines are cracks and crevices that particles and bacteria and stuff can get into. So dry products. But it's watertight if you want. But measuring water, you're probably pretty safe. But anything else liquid could create a um, contamination situation. Because the problem is you can't sanitize it. Anything that you would do to sanitize this would compromise the plastic. So if you were to hit it with steam, you'd melt the plastic. If you were to put it in a dishwasher, you'd melt the plastic. <laughs> so uh, although a cold sanitization solution might work. I don't know. I know at work we use a cold 75 degree sanitization tub. So I don't know if that would work on this, um, but just for dry stuff at home, it's fine. So this here, the large cavity is a cup, then you have a half a cup, a quarter cup, and a third cup, and then over here you have a whole bunch of little ones, so fifth cup, tablespoon, um, teaspoon, quarter and half teaspoon. That's pretty cool, and it looks great. I am really pleased with how it came out. It printed both of the ones that I printed. The one I printed on the A4 failed, but that's because the heater cartridge failed. <laughs> so eventually the nozzle cooled down, so of course it couldn't extrude anymore. But that's the purple haze. Really, really impressed. Very pleased with these. I like them a lot. Next up, pliers. This is by Sean Gano. Thing number 2749597 on Thingiverse. And these are self-opening pliers. So the pliers have little springy portions in the middle there, so that when you squeeze them and let them go, they reopen themselves automatically. Okay. Now you're not gonna be fixing your car with these, because they're plastic. You're not even gonna be able to take splooge off of your nozzle with these, because you'll melt it. I tried that already. <laughs> even the short little time I touched it, it melted the plastic, so you're not gonna do that. He has a needle nose pair and a straight nose pair. The straight nose pair print better but they work surprisingly well. They only took a slight bit of cleanup on the, um, the parts that join to get them to join together. But basically, if I can get them apart again, here we go. So they are uh, like a, I don't know what you'd call that. It's not a, it's kind of a bayonet. But there's tabs and there's slots and the two parts go together and then they lock in place. And now they stay together. And they are quite handy for picking little stuff up. I mean, anything, you know, I wanna, grab something and pick it up, it works. If I want to grab little parts and pick them up, it works. I was really impressed with how well they work. And you can exert a shocking amount of force. You know, you're going to break the plastic if you squeeze too hard. But um, enough force to be useful for small things. You know, picking up little nuts and bolts and stuff like that. If you drop something, you got to get it. I'm, I'm going to find these useful, and these will also be useful in the field for working on my rockets, where I don't need strength, I just need that grip, that third hand to hold something with some precision. It works out very, very nicely. 
Uh, this is printed with, again, the carbon fiber filament. Now, the one problem with the carbon fiber filament is that it makes the plastic more brittle. So these springs are already creasing. They've stopped creasing at a certain point and they work, but not as well as they should. The nature of any fill PLA will always make the plastic weaker because you're compromising the homogeneous integrity of the plastic with a fill. And so wherever there's a boundary between whatever fill particles are in there and the plastic, it's going to be weaker. So these parts will always break easier than a pure PLA. This applies to all of them, including carbon fiber film nylon. It is weaker than non-carbon fiber film nylon. But the nylon is so gratuitously strong that you can afford to give up a little bit of strength in the nylon and still have a crazy strong part afterwards and gain the rigidity and stiffness that the carbon fiber adds. So that's one of the few materials where you can, even though it does still weaken the material, the end result is still a better benefit. You have a weaker nylon, but you now have a stiffer nylon. And the result is a plastic part that is still more than strong enough because there's so much excess strength in nylon. So I'm gonna be playing with that soon. Someone wants me to experiment with carbon filled um, nylon. So I have some nylon X to experiment with and hopefully get working right on an ender. So of course, this is my channel. I had to make it bigger. <laughs> this is normal size. So I went big. <laughs> I can pick up the pliers with the pliers. <laughs> these are actually genuinely strong. I mean, I can pick up a lot with these, no problem. How heavy can I, can I pick up a, a half, like a two thirds? Yep, there. there's two thirds of a kilogram spool of filament. No problem. Picked it up. That's cool. I like these. These are fun. These are more of a toy, but it was just neat to print them out. This was printed on the ANET E12, which, uh, don't buy that printer. I mean, it, it's usable. It could be fixed. It could be made to work. If you already have one, you can make a usable printer out of it, but it's almost the same price as a CR10, and it does not have the print quality of a CR10. Let's get a CR10. But it is usable after you make a couple corrections. But um, this was printed using Daffodil Yellow PLA from Toner Plastics. Um, they do still have this available. I don't have an affiliate link for them or anything like that. But if you go to Toner Plastics and you go to the clearance section, $10 a kilogram. And they have Atlantic Ocean Blue, Hips, Bumblebee Yellow, and Daffodil Yellow. And the plastic prints great. I have no problems with the plastic. And this again is the GearVest um, K Camel carbon fiber fill PLA and um, it, it looks pretty I, I like the matte finish I like the satin matte finish good plastic not great at fine details when you get into the super fine details the fill starts to interfere with the ability to extrude the plastic you'll see that when I do the boat episode but um, overall you get beautiful prints with it so once again I was measuring cube Sean Ganu's pliers. Down below is a link to all of this, including the plastics. I also have a question for you guys. GearBest asks if I want anything else from GearBest besides 3D printing stuff. I have no idea. Um, right now, this is what I have time for. I like doing my 3D printing. I mean, I'm going to see if they'll send me that little tiny laptop that they have. I think that thing is pretty cool, and I think it could be useful for both rocketry and 3D printing. But... Is there anything you guys would like to see me review from GearBest? If they're willing to send me other stuff, why not? So if there's anything you guys would, in particular, I mean, don't just send me fanciful stuff. I don't think they're gonna send me a thousand dollar product or anything like that. But um, it's also, think about it from my perspective. It's gotta be useful to my audience, something that would actually be useful to you guys. So if there is anything that you desire to see before purchase from GearBest, let me know and I'll see if they'll send it to me. The worst they can do is say no. So that's it. You guys have a great day. Enjoy the prints. You're especially gonna like these pliers. I really do like them. I think they are genuinely useful and I am going to be using them. I'm gonna try printing some out in the 3D Fuel Enhanced PLA that I have to see if I can make them a little bit stronger. Now these are plenty strong, but how strong can I go? And hey, maybe I'll print some out in Nylon X and see how strong they can really get. You guys have a great day.